Operators are finding it increasingly challenging to deliver a high quality experience to their consumers when it comes to online video. And quality of video streaming on the internet is an issue. In a recent survey conducted by Conviva, they found that 60% of all video streams suffered from poor quality. Uh, in another recent survey by Accenture, they found that over 40% of all consumers were most concerned about the quality of video streaming across the internet. So operators are more focused on the quality of experience that their consumers have with their broadband service offerings. Operators know that a high quality experience will result in a more loyal customer, will reduce churn, and will directly impact the bottom line. So there are a number of factors that determine the quality of an experience for a consumer who's watching online video. These would include the video bit rate, that is the rate of the stream that the consumer is watching the rebuffering rates or incidents of rebuffering that take place during that video session, the start time, uh, the time in which it takes for the video stream to begin playing so the consumer can watch it, uh, the resolution of the stream itself and other factors, for example, the bitrate shifts that may occur and even the um, effectiveness or performance of the application. So in light of all these factors, we've concluded that the best overall indicator of the quality of a video stream is average bitrate. And we'll now look more closely at how we measure and report on average bitrate and the impact that this can have on the quality of experience for consumers. So let's take a look at a typical scenario in which video is streaming across the internet today. Normally a video stream will originate from a content provider origin server or even from a CDN um, and then make its way across the operator network to the consumer. Now in this case the quality of this stream is subject to any congestion or any network capacity constraints that exist in the entire network path from the origin to the consumer. And whether that might be in transit connections somewhere inside the core or distribution network of the operator, the truth is the stream will only be as good as the weakest link between these two points. Now let's consider the case where we use an edge cache uh, which is deployed deep in the operator network at the neighborhood level near the CMTS or BRAS and this edge cache, an autonomous device, is able to automatically detect popular video traffic transiting this link, store it, and then on next request from a nearby consumer deliver it locally. And in doing so, as you can imagine, deliver a higher quality video stream in the process. So by deploying the edge cache in the operator network at the neighborhood level, we're able to both deliver a higher quality video stream, improve QOE for the consumer, and save the network operator the network investment that would have been required to create the capacity upstream to deliver all of this video traffic. So now that we've described these two scenarios, we can actually measure both and compare the quality of experience in each case. So in the first case, as you recall, we were measuring the path of video traveling from the origin server or CDN and we can, for many streams, establish the QOE or the average bit rate for that set of streams. And in the same way, in the case of edge caching, we can measure the streams that originate from the edge cache and are streamed to the consumer. And we can take those measurements and determine the average bit rate associated specifically with edge caching. So as you can imagine, edge caching delivers substantially higher QoE as measured by average bitrate than traditional content delivery methods. It's also important to note that Quilt's measurement is at peak time when capacity is most scarce in the network. We have based our measurements on worldwide deployments. We also make measurements on specific content providers and specific network operators. Based on all of these measurements, we've found in many cases QOE achieved by edge caching is more than 100% better than traditional delivery methods. Edge caching gives network operators the ability to both dramatically improve the quality of experience for their consumers, while at the same time cost-effectively scaling their network for the future of online video.